here are the top local stories you need to know as you start your Thursday morning rush. Here's, let's take a look right now. Corey Fleming, an alleged Alec Murdoch co-conspirator, is set to plead guilty in federal court on a charge to commit wire fraud. This is in connection with the insurance claim from the death of Alec Murdoch's housekeeper, Gloria Satterfield. Murdoch had recommended that Satterfield's sons hire Fleming to represent them and file a claim against Murdoch. The claim was to collect from his homeowner's insurance policies. Murdoch and Fleming are accused of conspiring to siphon settlement money for themselves. At the State House, Senate lawmakers have allocated $75 million for Clemson University to build the state's first veterinarian school. Local veterinarians say prior to this, South Carolina spent $6 million every year to provide in-state tuition for students who had no option but to study veterinary medicine in other states. Lawmakers hope the new school will now encourage students to stay in state. We're being told Clemson could graduate students in the science of veterinary medicine by 2030. Happening today, the State Department of Transportation will hold a public information meeting to discuss improvements to I-26 in Orangeburg County. The meeting runs from 5 until 7 o'clock this evening and it's taking place at the Orangeburg Calhoun Technical College. The community will have the chance to provide written comments to transportation officials. There's your morning rush. For details on these stories and more, just head to our website. That's WLTX.com. You can also find the latest on the free News 19 mobile app.